<laughs> Hi guys, uh, I'm Grant Rodick here, SimGuru Grant with SimGuru John. Hey there, yeah. And uh, SimGuru Ryan? That's right. All right, well we're here today to talk about uh, skills with you guys. There's a huge amount of skills we have in the game. Do you know the exact number? <laughs> Hi guys, uh, I'm Grant Rodin, we have here, Simguru Grant, Grant, and Simguru there's a lot of stuff and weird depth and interactions that you guys can unlock with those skills, and we wanted to just sort of go through a demo and walk you guys through a lot of that stuff that you might not even know about. Um, we have, Ryan's going to be over here watching the stream, so if you have specific questions about the stuff we're talking about, be sure to ask it, and we'll try to look at it in the game. There's a lot of stuff and weird depth John's going to be chiming in with all sorts of puns and witty commentary through a demo, and well, John did a lot of this time. He did do a lot of this time. Not just any of this yeah, yeah, aspiration. 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 Same thing. Whatever. 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 Um, um, Alright, sure. make sure you guys shout out to if you can't hear us or anything. We'll be adjusting the stream to make sure it's perfect. Trying to stay out of camera like things directly on. Aspiration. So shall we get going? I think we're going to start out with handiness. So one thing to note as we get going here that we had a little bit of a last minute football scrimmage trying to figure out who's going to do what. Um, and who's going to actually do this cast at all. I wasn't even on it to begin with. So um, a little bit of us forgive us as we're sort of stumbling through some of the script. Um, so one thing to note as we get going here is that we had a little bit of a last minute less echo. football scrimmage trying to figure out who's going to do what. Let's see this. Um, and who's gonna right, we're going to try and fix something really quick. Hang with, with us. Um, a little bit of us forgive us as we're sort of stumbling through some of the script. Um, so one thing to note as we get going here is that we had a little bit Why don't you tell some good puns, John? John, give us a pun. Just, they give to occur them. organically or they're not funny. Right, we're going to try and fix something really quick. Hang with us. All right, that should have fixed the Does this problem. sound better, guys? How's that? Let us know now. Is that better? How's this sound? Why don't you tell some good puns, John? John, keep talking. Guys, guys, can you hear me? Does the echo sound better? Wood chuck chuck. Does a wood chuck does chuck wood thing? All right, that should have fixed the problem. Does this problem. sound better, guys? How's that? Let us know now. Is that better? How's this sound? Why don't you tell some good puns, John? Keep talking. Keep hey, guys. Talking. Hey, guys. Guys, can you hear me? Uh, it's weird because there's a lag between the stream and what we're showing. Can you still hear the echo? Can you tell us where the echo's gone? We think we fixed it, but we're not sure. Does this sound better? Echo. Somebody, if, if it's fixed, please say the echo is fixed. Echo is still there. I'm getting mixed responses. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Can you hear me? It's weird because there's a lag between the stream and what we're showing. All right. We're going to stop the stream and restart it. We'll be back in just a quick second. We're going to find a quick second. Echo. Okay, we're back on. We're back live. Let us know as soon as you guys start seeing this if you're hearing the echo. Uh, we are just getting things set up here, and we're hopping back into the game right now. Oh, now we're going to the game. Got it. Okay. All right, click right there. There you go. Yeah. Yep, perfect. Let's see. I always play the delay. Just keep playing. We're good. We're, we're, we're broadcasting. We're going. So we're going to come over here, and we're going to talk about handiness first. So handiness is a great skill. Um, it gives you a lot of options, crafting options. Uh, first off, we're gonna go ahead and make the guitar using the crafting bench. Sabine here is a guitarist as well as being a, a handy sim. So one of the cool things about handiness is first off, and most obviously, it lets you repair objects. So when your toilet breaks, when your sink breaks, you can go and repair it. And the higher their skill, the less likely they are to hurt themselves or even die, uh, which is, bad typically, although not as bad now that we have ghosts. So, and then you got to be careful with electrocution with the electrical objects. That's the, the source of the death. But however, if you can buy a woodworking bench, we're not. Three, two, one. Okay, we are back. Uh, let us know if we fix the echo and uh, yeah, let's jump into the gameplay. So what we have here is a hand. Oh God, we're not on the actual game. There we go. So what we have here is an actual, is a handy and a sim. Handiness is a great skill because, first off, most obviously, it lets you repair the broken objects in your house. It also lets you upgrade them. So if you have a broken toilet or a broken sink or your TV is broken, you, you can fix it. And the higher level your skill, the less likely you are to electrocute yourself and lead to the dying. However, you can also upgrade them. And once you have leveled up sufficiently, uh, you'll see the, the fact that you can upgrade them when you click on the object. Some of these objects will require that you have upgrade parts, which you can obtain by um, when you repair broken, the objects and then you, fix go to the little, you salvage the little pile skill, next to it, the less you'll find upgrade parts. There's some basic ones and then there's some rare ones. 
And However, you can also buy those. You can also upgrade them. And once on the you have leveled up sufficiently, um, uh, you'll see it's the, the, yeah. the fact it's on the computer. It was on the phone at some point back in the Some of these objects were, uh, but we had too many things on the phone. You have the really cool part about handiness, though, is the woodworking bench. When you repair the object, Sabine here is both a guitarist uh, and a handy sim, and because she's super high level, she can craft a guitar for herself. The woodworking bench is a little bit expensive. It's like 1,800 simoleons, I believe, somewhere around there. But having it not only improves your handiness skill constantly uh, and you can see that I believe hers is already maxed really cool out. part about handiness though is the woodworking bench. Sabine here is both I'm still out currently. Uh, Andy, um, Sim, I'm sorry guys, I, high level, we really don't know what's going on. So. It's, uh, the woodworking bench is a little bit expensive. So, so it's your booming voice. voice. It is my booming voice. But having it oh, not so only handy. So because she's a master and you can see that I believe hers is already maxed out. part about handiness though is the woodworking bench. The Sabine here is both. I'm still out currently. Uh, Andy, um, Sam, I'm sorry, guys. I, high level. We really don't know what's going on. First, it's uh, the woodworking bench is a little bit expensive. So, 1800 simoleons. Your booming voice. It is my booming voice. Um, yeah. Having it. Is there something I'm so handy? So because she's a master. Okay. Too fast. Let us know, guys, if that fixes it. Okay. So, because I'm handy, I can go through here and. You notice your household inventory had a little sign because I made something new. Um, oh, it's in our personal inventory, isn't it? Sorry, I'm distracted because we're trying to figure this out. Yes. Um, so here is the new guitar that I made for myself. Pretty nice. Um, and I was able to make that because I have the handiness skill. Now, that's not all I can make. I can go through here. Lindsay, SimGuru, Lindsay, who actually created this lot for us, she made us a house that had some janky stuff. For example, you can see this. Um, so the room. So you can see this nice bathtub here that our Sim nice. Sabine made. You can see this toilet, this commode, and this beastly commode. Make that because, because I had it's fantastic. Um, you can see that Lindsay's we can upgrade it. Um, remember, I told you earlier that if you can upgrade an object, you might find out which parts you need. Some well, here you can see that to do self cleaning, um, I need to have two plumbing upgrade parts and three common upgrade parts. Nice bathtub here. Day. Sim Sabine made. You can see this toilet, this commode, this beastly commode. Um, ah, let's, let's go look that up. So, yes, because she has a nerd brain, she had the aspiration for nerd brain, which had a lot of stuff. She reached the top tier of this career, which rewarded her with a handy trait, which we can now see here. And handy means that Sims can instantly fix and upgrade any object, which is quite the time saver. That's really a, that's a really fantastic reason to go get that. So, let's um, find the computer Because she has a nerd brain, she had the aspiration for nerd brain, which had a lot of stuff. She reached the top tier of the suit on this line, which rewarded her with just hand power. Which we're rich. We can do that. Here. And handy means that Sims can instantly fix and upgrade any object. It's really difficult to do this on the spot. Really, It's a really fantastic reason to get a nice computer. So let's find this nice chair. We're going to have to delete this afterwards because now it's really the whole vibe of the But we can come here. More choices. Handiness. Oh, that. that's the wrong thing. It's the, uh, uh, Sims can instantly order. Order. So you can purchase upgrade parts here. So we can buy ourselves five common upgrade parts, a couple kitchen, a couple plumbing. And hey, now that we ordered that, you can find these parts in our Sims inventory. So again, if we come over here and look, we could do upgrade, add self-cleaning. So let's come over here and do self-cleaning with Sabine. So let's go check out somebody else while we're here. So we can buy our Really Vaughn has an idea for our uh, echo issue. So, <laughs> getting cues in from the side. Who are there's, we looking at next? chaos just off screen, by the way. It's fantastic. Um, we have all these little monkeys running around, little gnomes. Oh, did we fix it, Vaughn? We, let's high five. He thinks he fixed high it. High five. All right. Sarah, high five as well. Yeah, she's far away. What are, what are we doing next, John? Are we doing mixology? We can do mixology next. Let's do mixology. We've got more aspiration rewards going on there as well. Oh, let's find Gemma. That's a fun name. That's a Gemma? G Gemma Swallow. Hmm. Um, so we have a um, mixology. So this is the really cool tiki bar that you get if you have the, um, I believe it's the one of the collector packs. Yeah. So we're going to send her over here to start making a drink. So. Um, 
with mixology, you can uh, change people's emotions with potions, and you can mix many of the cool drinks. Um, so what are some of the drinks we can make? Oh, and now that we're inspired, if you guys notice this, she's inspired because she's a mix master because she's at the top level of the mixology skill. Um, that's from here. She now gets a bonus while she's inspired while she's making drinks. And you see all these really cool bar tricks she's doing to impress others. Um, what are some of the drinks you can make, John, that can um, change well, emotions? There's a whole bunch of different drinks that you unlock as you go up the skill. And then you're actually able to do uh, just straight emotion changing potions like Happy Potion, Inspired Potion. These, these are the same uh, potions that you can buy for satisfaction but in the store, actually... but you can just make them. Very cool. So let's, um, you know, often I find that getting focused might be difficult sometimes because I don't want to do the scientific objects. Right. And if I have a sim who's in a certain career, Focus will really help me. So we're going to spend a thousand. So after we go ahead and make this first drink, we can make a focused potion. This is really fantastic because this is a way that you can manipulate not only the sims that you control. Oh, look at that. It's got fire on it. Let's have a... Which drink is that? That is a flaming zesty salt. Hmm, salt. I question the use of salt in this beverage. <laughs> but, you know, I'm always surprised. One of the cool things about being able to manipulate people's emotions, though, is it, it allows you to sort of change the world, have ownership over the world and what the Sims are doing. And mixology is one of those really cool skills where essentially like a chemist in a lot of ways. Yeah. You're like a chemist that does tricks. Oh, that's why it's called Potion Master when you get that. And it's also great that you can like tend the bar and work the bar during a party. Um, I don't know if you guys know, but you can actually have events in the game. And this is one of the, the things that uh, the um, mixologist is great for is that you can plan a social event and you can see now she's going to go drink this potion which will um, make her quite focused. Let's not do this now, because I want to show you guys the event before we move on to something else. Yeah, cool little potion. So the social events are a really neat feature where you can, it's like parties from previous Sims games, but they have dynamic goals that pop up, right. and you can earn really cool object rewards and such. So she's going to call to set up the social event. So you could do the like a house party, for example, or a dinner party. And you can see the highest level you've earned, and it tells you what you're going to do, and then you need various roles. Joe, yeah, just go, go back for a sec. Yeah, sure. Um, I just want to point out that if you uh, click a host prestige social event, if you turn that off, you won't get the goals. If you just want to play and yeah. tell a story, have fun. If you, you want people to show up, goals. act like they're at a party. If you yeah. want to just sort of ignore the goals and tell a story, you can actually host, you know, turn this off. But if you guys use the phone, plan a social event, you can go through this UI and you can set up lots of different stuff based on the friends you have, the skills they have. You, you can throw a really great party and get some really cool rewards doing that. So here's our mixologist. We've done our handiness. Um, she's over here upgrading and, and let's go ahead and take a bath. Let's take a bubble bath while she's there. Um, what else are we going to do? Um, what else are we going to do now, John? Who else are we looking at? We have tons of skills. We have skills, notes. Okay, notes we have. We're referencing. Uh, how about go to Max? He can play on the computer, do, do video games, can do programming. Oh yeah, those are a lot of our neat skills that we added. So Max is already at the computer, how fitting. So Max, let's look at his skills really quickly. Yeah. Max has programming, he's just about to level 10, he's a really high video gamer. Um, do you have any special traits? Let's see. So he has business savvy because he chose the fortune aspiration. He also has a click learner from choosing a knowledge aspiration and webmaster from completing the computer whiz aspiration. What does the webmaster do for us, John? Um, it gives you a few special interactions on the computer um, that no one else will have. Um, so you can earn money turkeying, which is doing little tasks on the computer. It's just a very slow, steady form of income that you can get just by playing on the computer. Um, I think you can also internet stalk your friends. Well, one thing to keep in mind about turking is it's not twerking. Um, we want to be really clear that turking is actually a reputable way to make money right. doing small tasks. Right. Uh, twerking is something that people do with their heinies. So right now if you notice, earn money turking, we can speed it up just to sort of show it off, but your sim will sit here doing this and over time, he will just start to earn a little bit of money. Right. So if you don't want to go to work, if you don't want to manage his skills or something right. like that, you can just sort of get steady income. So I just earned 75 bucks there. Um, that's pretty cool. So let's stop twerking, not twerking, and let's see some other stuff that we could do. We could program. So um, there's really cool. So the programming skill is, is it unique to The Sims 4? Yeah, I don't think we've had anything like um, that before. And we haven't had it to the same degree if it's not unique. Um, with programming, you can make video games, which is a way to make steady income, sort of like writing a book. You can do freelance work for people, which takes a bit of time, but has a really nice payout at the end. Um, practice programming, this is your standard way to improve it. You can mod the game, so this is sort of a way to gain more fun and do better at the games right. that you have. So you can mod specific games, so you can become fantastic at The Refuge, for example, and um, 
you know, do really well there. When you, can, when you play the modded games, you also can have more fun and get special uh, moodlets for that. Fantastic. Um, you can create virus. That's another way to make money. That's sort of a fun, evil story that you could tell. You can also hack specific companies. And I love that we have the companies here. We have the National Sim Security Agency, Lothario Trust Firm, Lamacorn Listserv. Um, those are other ways to make money. You can make mobile apps, plugins. So there's just a lot of different ways that you can make money and do things at home. And what's really cool is if you were to create, um, this is something I was doing um, before the game shift. I sort of created the story of uh, sort of that tech guru sim called yeah. Silicon Valley or something like that. And I created this uh, multi-layered home and I gave them all like little cube farms and stuff. And they would just go all type all day. And I had this um, big sort of nerd house full of uh, guys who were creating stuff. Um, we should talk about the video game skill as well because that's also useful from a different way. So with video games, you can just play the games, which is fun. That's going to level up your game skill. But you can also enter a game tournament, um, professional and novice, which will earn you um, a bit of money over time. And at what level do you get the um, streaming, the video game? Um, I think streaming is actually part of the uh, tech guru career. Oh, it's a tech guru career. Yeah. Oh, okay. So there is a way that you can actually stream video games like we're doing now. Um, ironically, I guess for, that's not ironically, but for money, because we're getting paid to do this, not this stream specifically, but we are at work. Why not? Um, so that's that's all the computer skill stuff. Just this Va Va Vaughn's beckoning. We've got beckoning. That needs to be all secret. So... Let's talk about fishing a little bit, and Lindsay named this guy. Oh, I get it. She's naming these people based off what they do. So Rod, haha, -ha, fisherman, swallows, haha, -ha, makes drinks. See how the pun came organically, and it was kind of funny. Oh, yeah. kind of funny. Uh, a little bit of stretch. Where are you, Rod? Oh, Vaughn's, Vaughn's adjusting me. So Lindsay put a pond <laughs> back here so that we could fish on this lot, for example. Um, Ooh, look for frogs, go fishing, fish with bait. John, what should we know about fishing when we first start out? Our sim is a level 8 fisherman, so he's pretty high. He has quite a few fish in his inventory. Maybe we should talk about some of the rewards you can do with fish first. Um, this is a trout. It's a lovely trout. Of course. You know, it's it's 22.92 kilograms, however that's, much that is. Um, an extra decimal. You probably don't need to go that deep to the grams, but, you know. Whatever. It's we're, good to have more information. First off, we're going to name this guy, and I'm going to name him... Ryan Vaughn. Thanks, Grant. You're welcome, Ryan. Uh, do you want the sound effects? We can turn the sound back on. Actually, oh, I'm terrified. I don't. I'm, I, I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't. I don't want to mess with the sound at all. So um, we can also mount the fish. Hey, look, there it is. And now we can drag it to the wall. Nice. And now we have. We have, in the we have Ryan Vaughn over here, the fish. The and this <laughs> adds to confidence, which is really nice. Um, if you don't want to get that confidence boof, but boof, boof. <laughs> <laughs> that confidence boof? Um, I'm going to go here. She has a really powerful move, so she may not get so confident handy. from that. She is so handy. Um, but you'll get the confident buff while you're here. See, there we go. So now, confident decor. So this is another really nice way to sort of modify your sim's emotions by for, uh, fusing build and right. live mode, which is another really cool thing we did. But let's go back to... You can also put uh, fish in bowls, which I heard that a lot of people know about. You can buy a fish bowl and just is drop that a fish in. so? Yeah. Let's go ahead and get a bowl. Let's get a bowl, Bob. Turns out we found the computer. We just needed to go to the, uh, the, the computer guy. Yeah. Let's go ahead and put this in our inventory because it's ugly. It just looks bad, John. Um, fishbowl here, oh, yeah. right there under indoor activities. So, and we could open up Rod's inventory here, and I think we want to keep this goldfish here, um, but first we want to name it. Let's name this one um, Ryan Vaughn. <laughs> uh, we're going to put Ryan into the fishbowl. So you just drag it over there, and now you see Ryan Vaughn is a fish. Yeah. His freshness is foul, though, which is not <laughs> surprising coming from Ryan Vaughn the fish. So you can put Ryan in your inventory. You can rename Ryan Vaughn. So if we wanted to rename him something else to like, I don't know, Graham like Rondell. Stinky Ryan Vaughn, that that I think is a little more apt. So now that we've done sort of all the the, the supplemental right. fishing things, oh, you can also put fish in your your fridge. To eat right, you can use them in special uh, cooking recipes. Certain cooking recipes. Oh, look at that fish jumping right there, just waiting to be caught. So you can examine the water, which is going to tell you a little bit about what you're doing. Yeah, look in there, Rod. See what you can find. Let's go to full camera view. What do you see, Rod? I pause the game. <laughs> so, 
these fish are biting at anything. As long as it's valuable, they're going for it. So basically, you sort of have that idea that the bait you should use is right. this valuable it's bait, gonna and it's going to assist you. Way to catch so, fish. and you know, obviously, it's going to tell you, hey, you already know this. So you can go fishing, which is sort of the the cheap, the poor man's way of fishing. But if you want, you could fish with bait, and it shows you all the stuff you have. Now, if you hover over this, you can see the values. So that's a thirty-five dollar bass. It's a one hundred twenty-two value salmon. I wager that is going to catch us something nice versus this $10 perch. So let's go and use the salmon. Fishing with live bait? Dude, fishing with live bait. Oh, Lindsay made him a genius and he's unchallenged. That's a, that's, that's some, that's some mean commentary on fishing, Vaughn, that fishing's not a challenging and rigorous sport. That's some guru Lindsay. Oh, Sam guru Lindsay. I think it's anything that builds uh, logic skill. We'll, we'll get rid of that. You know, she did do something right here, though, and I think that is that she created some really good traits for this sim. So one of the early and best strategies you could do is when you're in create a sim, you want to create traits that complement the story you're going to tell right. and the skills you're going to be doing. So this sim loves the outdoors. So if you notice, Lindsay brilliantly gave him the loves the outdoors trait. He's outside. He's extra happy because he's doing this. Um, he's feeling good. He has really high needs right now. So this sim is going to be really happy while he's doing this. That means he's going to gain skills more quickly. Um, which you can see here, and he's just generally going to be more successful. So, um, so and he also has the uh, collector trait, which means that Lindsay does gives him um, a nature of aspiration. That's really good. So yeah. that means his, because Lindsay chose the angling ace, you know, this is something he's going to be fishing. Um, he automatically, out of creative sim, gets this collector movement. Tell us about this, this collector um, so trait. What that trait's going to do is that anytime your sim collects something out of a collection, so that includes um, like metals and crystals, uh, fish um they're gonna Frogs. have yeah they'll have a higher chance of getting something that's rare cool so that paired with our great bait is really what's going to save us here oh you put it that little baby fish oh we caught a we caught a guppy worth eight <laughs> <laughs> perfect <laughs> yes oh that's oh and we ran out of salmon we used our salmon on the guppy the how many kilograms of salmon did you use to catch that guppy you know we're gonna use this guppy instead <laughs> So one thing to note is the fish that appear are based on the spawner in the pond. Yeah. So he might have been one of the best fish that's in yeah. this pond. So we basically used our best fish to catch their best I fish. I got a really good idea. Let's upload this lot so people can play along and fish while we're streaming. Is that even possible, Vaughn? Yeah. Oh, my God. Upload. Let's do that. Mm. So we're going to save this. Cacti Casa. I don't think that's really an appropriate name. Let's call it... Ryan's skills with a Z, no, dude. Not with a Z. Perfect for fishing with an imposter. <laughs> is a great lot to ch check out all the skills in The Sims Four. So we're gonna upload this to the. Yeah, yep. Is this on the dev? No, this is this is this real. Is, it's gonna work. This is the real deal. Wait, no, is this on the live gallery though? Yeah, you bet. Are you sure? Positive. I think, I think there's on. I think there's on the internal R and D working. This may not. This oh, may that's not. a good point. Well, hey, you can open see, up the gallery and look right now. We're going to check. See, we trusted you, Ryan, and this is what happens. Lots. So Most like recent. real deal. Yeah, these are uploaded by all kinds of people. Oh, so it needs to be here. Yeah. Search for SimGuru Lindsay. You guys can find the lot. Cool. Did I, did I upload it, actually? Did I go full? Yay, you shared a lot. Cool. So, okay, I doubted you. I admit, I can admit when I'm wrong. I doubt Vaughn all the time. Yeah. Um, let's go check out. Oh, it's so, it's such, it's, it's just, so it's, it's the really solid path. So, another thing about collection, you know, fishing is sort of a collection skill. If you notice here in this neighborhood, you can walk around as you will. So, let's stop, let's stop fishing with Mr. Rod and let's send him over here. I spied us a digging spot where we can find something. <laughs> Fawn's laughing off screen. He knows something we don't know. Yeah. I'm sure. Are my pants down? <laughs> so we dug up a capsule over here. So if you notice, as you go around, look around the world, you can find different fishing spots. You can find uh, uh, plants and seeds to to then go back and plant. But let's go. Some, no, maybe it's find a mycin. Some of those mysterious time capsules. It is a mycin trophy. It's nice. Elmira Clamp. So let's uh, let's send this dude home. We'll click his little thing here. And we're going to go place Elmira. Do, do, do. What's up, bro? We're almost done with this sim here. Who are we going to next, John? Oh, let's, let's, let's take a look let's at put, the schedule. Let's, 
Let's put Elmira. Oh, Lindsay already put a, a fishing a fishing bowl here. Let's uh, let's add that that high value guppy. Oh, we already have a goldfish in it. Oops. All right. Why don't you tell us a little bit about gardening? I will tell you a little bit about gardening. That sounds great. I'd like to learn too. I played quite a bit of gardening uh, towards the end of development. That was sort of one of the last yeah. things I was testing with. So, gardening. The first place to get started in gardening, and really you want to find out how to get started, is you're going to want to go to objects, outdoors, outdoor activities. Click this planner box. So you can have a little tiny garden plot. Pot. Pot. English grant. First language. Um, you can also get this larger planter box. Um, or if you want, you could just plant things on the ground. Right. Um, but then you sort of look like a savage. So now that we have our pot, you can click here and you can purchase seeds. So I can do starter flowers, fruits, herbs, starter vegetables. Let's just get a little bit of everything. Is it still a uh, rod that you're playing with? Uh, it is rod. I don't want to play with rod. What's the, what's the gardening? Oh, let's see. What's uh, her name is? Oh, Flora. Oh, it's, it's, uh, uh, Flora. Lindsay. Uh, Lindsay, you will, you will rue this day. <laughs> you gave us such bad. Oh, wow. Yeah, so see, she can do She's more. super high level, yeah. so she could buy all sorts of things. She doesn't even have to go look. I don't even want this starter stuff. It's beneath me. Um, I do want to get starter herbs because I like saying herbs. So we've bought these things. Herbs, like the Sims game. And now, was I not supposed to mention that? <laughs> the, the herbs. <laughs> how, how much better would have been if it was called if the herbs? Do, yeah, if we do something gardening later, it should be the, the herbs. So we've got farm fresh That's veggies and herbs. And we're going to open all of these because they arrive. They show up in our Sims inventory. So we got some parsley, some chrysanthemum, some daisies, spiced garden shoot, carrots, spinach bluebells, and basil. So we can drag one of these items, just drag it into the pot, go click on it, I can plant. Smith will go over here. She's not really wearing garden attire. Let's find out about her traits and stuff though. So first off, her aspiration is freelance botanist. Nice. Um, the high level reward of this one is pretty fun. It means that they they can't they 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 they're just, one, they're one with on nature. Fire. Yeah, one with nature. Fire, sort of like a sort of like them. a smoky the bear yeah, kind of exactly. vibe. Um, they can also put out fires incredibly, incredibly yeah, well. Instant. Um, They're good to have around. And, you know, so this wants us to evolve different plants. It wants us to harvest from 20 different plants, which means we need to have a rather large garden. Yeah, um, and let's see if we have any skills. So um, we got Loves the Outdoors. Again, that's a fantastic trait. Mm -hmm. um, and Collector. Again, this is going to help us find those rare seeds and things when we're looking around. So she's going to come over here. She's going to plant. Fans love milking the cow plant. Do they want us to milk it? Fans love milking the cow plant? Or do you love milking the cow plant? I see lots of people on the on the thread right okay. now. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to we'll milk it in just a second. <laughs> hold, hold. We're, well, I promise we'll get there. It'll be utterly great up top. Uh, that's tentative, my friend. I know. So, first off, uh, you need to water and care for your plants. Um, if they, you know, these plants, obviously, as you can see here, are quite, can. quite gross because they're gray, the water. I wonder if we have any that have I weeds on them. Yeah, you'll notice as, as soon as you start um, watering it, it'll get much better. Hey, how'd go? Oh, wait, uh, Max, how this tournament go? Oh, oh Max oh, didn't care too on, well. Max. Come on, Max. Um, you also notice um, it's, it's difficult to see at this level, but you'll see these plants will sparkle. Um, and if you click on them, you notice that it means they, they can evolve. That means okay. they're, they're ready to level up, essentially. So I'm going to tell him to evolve this. You know, if you tell your Sims to water one plant, they're going to go through and water all of them on their own, which is a really great and sort of convenient feature. You can also, once you level up high enough, you could do 10 garden. And your Sim will basically just take care of everything that plant needs. And that's like watering, fertilizing, spraying uh, bugs. And they won't actually stuff. fertilize on their own because to fertilize, you need to tell them what to fertilize with. Uh, um, so we're going to fertilize with this daisy. Really, anything will work. Um, and fertilizing is going to sort of, yeah, it's going to make your plant um, evolve. It basically allow it to evolve more quickly. Right. Uh, evolution is how your plants get higher quality output, higher quality plants, right. and and you could look at the different things. So you notice here we have some sort of weird plants here, and the intergalactic growth pod. These were found from using the rocket right, to, go to, to go to space. space. Correct. I love the space missions, and I'm, uh, more people need to play them. We have had a lot of fun writing the did, missions. Did we, it's, did, all, it's like little text adventures. Did, did Lindsay create a rocket scientist for us? She I didn't. Think so. We're gonna send Rod into space, guys. Um, <laughs> did we get we're a deviating rocket? from the script? We gotta go to space. Oh, there's no rocket ship. We can buy one. We're gonna buy a rocket ship. You're gonna build a rocket all at once. We're gonna buy one. You can buy one, right? You gotta build it though. Oh, that's true. We're gonna um, get Rod busy on the steam steampunk thingamajig. So come over. No, not you. Sorry. I played The Sims, guys. I promise. <laughs> um, it's a lot of people to keep track of. 
Yeah, I don't ever play with eight sims. That's just madness. That's the talk of madness. Um, notice that because she's inspired, um, I, is it inspiration or energized that helps with guarding? I think inspired helps. Yeah, I think it's inspired. Yeah. So your sim is inspired. She's out here um, taking care of her plants. But let's let's stop watering. We know that that works. We know that we can water our plants. Um, and after this, we're going to evolve them. So you're going to see over here. She's going to come down. Nice. Rod has the rocket skill, which is yet another skill we have. So now that we've leveled this up, it's just sort of like that much farther along to becoming just a great further along to being a great plant. Um, and we just fertilize it where she's sprinkling the seeds on it. So that's one cool thing you could do. But what about grafting? Um, what about cutting? So in order to graft, graft is where you fuse plants right. together. Again, you can get totally and new plant types from it. Exactly. And so let's, um, and you can also create like hybrid weird plants. Like you yeah. can have a lemon chrysanthemum tree. So first off, you need to do a cutting. And this is unlocked at higher levels. So let's go through here and cut this. Where, where is Flora on here? No, it's cool. So now that we've cut that, cut that out. Um, we have all our cuttings here. So the new, we have the spliced garden shoot with a lemon. We also have um, other splicings. Um, that's from a previous thing. So uh, let's go through really quickly and let's graft them to something. So we have this nice snapdragon flower and we can graft and we sort of pick what we want to put there so we can do it with a lemon. Now, one thing to keep in mind, this is sort of going to reset your plants. You know, we just evolved it right now. It's at a high level. Well, this is going to send your plant all the way back to sort of like baby status. Um, she it's also a completely new plant though. It is a new plant. So now this is a, as you can see, a splice plant, a snapdragon and lemon. Nice. So there are some really cool things that you can create by mixing and matching these different yeah, a lot plants. Of um, and you know, let's prune this shape. Let's do an inspired shape. Um, as you level up, you can actually do different things on your bonsai, bonsai tree. tree. Yeah. Um, we're going to change this to aqua colored base. So one of the cool things, you can make a death flower by combining an orchid and a pomegranate. What does the death flower do for you, John? It Put me on the spot. Oh, I know. One guys, you have to know, we have like 15 designers on the team. So if you ask one designer one specific thing, they may not know the exact details. And we're leery of lying or making something up. But basically, right. the death flower is it used to revive a ghost to become a live sim. Um, the exact details of it. Grant is just steaming about this gardening thing. Go Grant. Steaming! All right. Um, the other thing is if you do a bird of paradise... Um, oh, you can make a bird of paradise by combining right. a tulip and a chrysanthemum. And you can also, that's how you get the, the cow plant, right? Uh, I think the cow plant. I actually don't even remember how to do the yeah. cow plant. Many different combinations. Do, do they want us to, to, to oh, <laughs> eat the cake? Yeah, go for it. Um, let's, let's feed the cow plant first. I want to I I milk his, his, his utter delights. No, I'm not eating your cake. Uh-huh. Yeah, you want this? You want this, buddy? Yes, you do. <laughs> yes. And let's pet him. Let's pet our cow plant. No, Aww. no. Be friendly. Be friendly. This is sort of how my dog acts. She just doesn't have cake tongue. And time to Grant talked about his dog. Not too bad. Oh, come on. Everybody likes me talking about my <laughs> dog. She's the cutest. Um, we're going to come back and, and milk him later. Um, or do we actually, he needs to eat a sim. Yeah, I think, yeah, that's what has to happen. Okay. They need to be drained of their emotional essence. Ah, I understand. I've never actually played with the cow plant personally. Um, I did gardening more for the uh, tuning and balance stuff. So um, we're going to have her hang out here, and when he offers her his sweet cake yet again, in the meantime, we'll have her tend her garden. So who else do we want to look at? So we've got a few more things around here. Um, we haven't looked at Jesse yet. Jesse's mom! Are we looking at Jesse or Jesse's mom? Combine Jesse's girl and Stacy's mom. I did. Yeah. All right. Good job. Are there? Those are two songs, yeah, aren't they? They are very different. Jesse's mom. Decades, I believe. <laughs> nice. nice. Let's go find yeah. Jesse Vargas. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, at level genius, I'm gonna take a swig. Mm. Oh, that's delicious, John. So, thanks for telling me. <laughs> at what level do you get the voodoo dolls? I know you can't just buy it out. Um, it's it's level, level five, five I, believe. I think. Yeah, and, and you'll you just can, be mailed to you, or you, you can, can order, order it. it. So. Once you're at level five mischief with someone, uh, you can go and get the voodoo doll, which was one of the first things we showed you guys way back at Gamescom 2013. You remember that, Vaughn? I do. How, how, how was that? How was that trip? It was very enjoyable. Let's, uh, so we can order, purchase voodoo doll. There you go. And you can come in here and order that, dude. $950. That better be cursed with the great voodoo man. 
So we can uh, summit rod. Let's see that. It must be bound to rod already. It must be bound to rod. So you're going to bound your bind bound bound, bound, bound English. Um, you're going to bind your voodoo doll to uh, a person who is sort of the victim of your your machinations. And I have summoned Rod, so now he's going to show up and be like, "What's up, man? I." Uh, I just I just vibe that you wanted me here, and it's great because now we're going to do mean things to Rod, who was building a rocket, but that's that's neither here nor there. So we're going to do some voodoo. Frolic, tickle, soak, or poke. What, what, what sounds good? Do, do we can we get a survey going, Vaughn? Do people want us to frolic, tickle, soak, or poke? Well, let's see. Respond on the uh, chat, and we'll see. My vote is for frolic because I have not seen that, and I don't know what it does. Vaughn, what do you think? Um, I like frolicking. You know, I got to harken back to the old days of the Facebook.com where poking was a really cool thing to do. It's true. It was called the okay. Facebook.com. It was, was the Facebook. That's good, good knowledge. Good harkening. Good harkening. Let's see what people say. What do you guys want? Tickle, 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 Tickle frolic, 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 frolic. No, that's just what. Frolic, frolic, frolic. frolic, frolic. frolic. I think frolic. All right, guys. Winning. All right. Frolic is early out. Poke here. Oh, no. So, 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 uh, so, so, I think. Mm. Uh, I think so. Uh, All right, so it's taken over. All right, soak it is. Thank you for your audience participation. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to throw some water on this voodoo doll man. <laughs> What's going to happen to poor Rod here? Oh, I got a uh, be mischievous, oh, yeah. which satisfied a whim. You know, really quick, let's talk about this, John. Yeah. I just satisfied that whim. What does that do for me? Well, it does a few things. Um, it gives you satisfaction. Which, which is you, this number right it here? It is. So along with completing aspiration goals, completing whims will give you satisfaction. If you go to the satisfaction store, you can buy uh, potions oh my God. and traits um, that will help your sim. Um, you can buy the potions Speed that... Speed cleaner. Uh, That's going to yeah. make me clean more quickly. That's right. What about a creative visionary? This is going to... Um, have a higher chance of painting and writing masterworks. That's great. Those things are really valuable. And you know, one thing that's interesting here is I've maxed out my my chief of mischief. Um, that that's gave that me you tormentor, I believe. Just give me tormentor. Yeah. Oh. So that lets you oh. uh, sabotage objects and sins. Should we do that to Rod after this? Sure. So we're gonna do tormentor. So because Lindsay reached the top level of this aspiration, she unlocked the tormentor. Which allows you to sabotage sims and allows you to sabotage objects. Right. So sabotage objects, it's not just you're breaking it, but it's the next person right. who uses so it, it will break it, it. It primes the object so that the next person that uses it breaks it. It's such a great storytelling moment. Yeah. Um, so I can come here and I can sabotage, um, not the Beastie Boy song. And then you can also come here and you can, wow, I've got a lot of, a lot of things, things I can do to him. Yeah. Um, would that be a mischief? Sabotage, under mischief. So this is a little subtle. But what, what it does is it just kind of ruins their day a little bit. If they try and do things, they have a much higher chance of failing at them for the next four hours. You're sort of like invoking fail upon their life. Exactly. So one thing is cool is uh, because I got that creative visionary, and here it's it's prompting me, it's blinking, it says select a new aspiration, and it's because I've, I've completed this aspiration, right. I have nothing else to do. So I can get a new one. I could do anything else. Um, this one's all checked out, and it's kind of cool that I've, Lindsay's done not just one, but both of them, because... She must have worked really hard. Lindsay's a horrible person. Um, but we can go through here, and maybe we can do creativity. Um, for example, we can be a best-selling author now. And you can see all that that entails, which is kind of cool. You're like, well, I like writing, I like reading, and I, I'm sort of an evil person. Maybe I can write horror novels. Right. Um, so let's go ahead and select that new aspiration, and now you can see that I have new goals. But for now, we're soaking, we're soaking Rod. And you can change your aspiration at any time during the game. And then switch back and forth. Is Rod going to be soaked? Oh, he is soaked. Um, he's dazed. He's dazed. <laughs> the best emotion. Uh, days. I love how I look when they're dazed, kind of stumbling around. We're going to wobble about. Um, let's go ahead and sabotage this. Wow. I'm going to go in there and tweak that up a little bit. And let's sabotage that toilet. And then let's have poor Rod. Uh, hurry up and sabotage. Let's have Rod come over here and uh, brush his teeth. Rod feels a little bit better now that he's outside, but he's going to go back inside now because this is apparently a little atrium. Yeah, look at that. It's nice. Brush teeth, Rod. Mm. Really, mischief is a great way to manipulate other sims, really yeah. screw with their emotions. Um, oh, no, now it's broken and you can blame it on Rod. Um, what the shoot? Um, I almost swore there. So <laughs> <laughs> and then I can have your handy sim come back and fix that immediately. I could. So uh, what was her name again? Sabine. Sabine. So Sabine can come here and insta repair. Sabina. Is it Sabina? Sabina. I think that's with an A. No, with an E. Really? Yeah. Are you sure? Let's get a vote. 
Let's get a vote. I don't really use <laughs> that name for now. Is this gonna be like with a computer whiz where you come back and like throw it in my face yet again? For like, Vaughn and I have had this like grammatical debate that Vaughn has won. I don't know, like three times now. And every four years when we make a base game, we re go through the debate, and then he wins again, and I feel stupid yet again. But I still maintain that my argument is correct. It's logically based. Um, so now we've shown this mischief guy. What else can mischief sims do? Um, you can. He's also a goofball, and he's got comedy. Um, we should have looked at all of his skills before yeah. we bounced around. He's got comedy, so I let's... Do a lot of things. He's high. Where's uh, that computer? He can uh, write jokes, uh, write comedy routines, perform comedy routines. Let's get this nerd the off the computer. <laughs> do you have a microphone? You can uh, just stand up. Uh, I'm going to sit here, and I'm going to start him. You're going you're gonna to do a horse sculpture, friend. And we're going to have our comedy dude come here and... Sabotage, no, we don't want to do that, but you could do comedy, we could do a long routine, medium routine, short routine, you can write jokes. There's a way to improve the comedy skill, and if you have a microphone, which is probably somewhere on this enormous lot. Do we have a microphone somewhere? The internet is saying that in Germany you would actually say Sabina, but in the UK you'd say Sabine. You know? I like it because everyone's right. It or everyone's wrong. wrong. I studied German in college, which is why I should know that it was right. Sabina. Right. Um, apparently, I did really well, guys. So once you have a, a comedy routine prepped, you can go to build. Um, this would be our skills. Here's a microphone, the Royal We, which is a Silverstone pickup song. And you can come here and you can perform a routine. Obviously, I don't have a routine. Or you can just tell jokes. Yeah, no material. Um, you can go do that at the venue, even, which is a really cool way to. Uh, can you make money doing yes, that? Yes, you can. You can make money People doing will that. Tip you. If you're People doing will well, tip you. People will tip you. The higher the skill you are, the more they'll give you. So there's a really good incentive to be, you know, funny, be good at it. You can perform comedy. Comedy. <laughs> you can perform comedy. You can make money doing it. You can write jokes, um, different types of jokes. You can be that sort of Seinfeld-like guy in your mind, or Chris Rock, or. Or, uh, Richard Pryor, or Patton Oswalt, the best comedian of all time. Let's look at painting really quickly. This is a pretty straightforward skill, but um, it's it's one of my favorites. It's always been a favorite back since Sims 2. Uh, I did actually play Sims 1. But um, we have a painter? We do. Nice. I'm guessing it's Probably. this lady here who's at the painting. So she has level 7 painting, level right. 10 violin. What's her aspiration? Her aspiration is musical genius. And okay. you know what? She's already satisfied that, so let's okay. do Painter Extraordinaire. Oh, that means that she has earned the Piper Trait. What does that do, John? Uh, the Piper Trait lets you uh, play special songs that have interesting effects on the Sims around you. Should we do that? Yeah. All right, let's, uh, let's, get, let's get this guy. I'm going to send him here. Let's send her here as well. Does she have an instrument on her? She does. There's a violin right oh, here. That. Um, yeah, Pluck some inspiration. Some, yeah, you do some Piper stuff right there. Yeah, which one do you want to do? Uh, I don't know any songs in German. Um, I do have an album from a band called Viers and Helden that I don't really remember anymore, uh, which I believe means We Are Heroes, if, I, if Helden is correct, but there's probably different interpretations. Let's see, you got the car of cleaning that makes people around you want to clean up for you. <laughs> you got the ditty of drowsiness that makes people want to take a nap anywhere they are. Um, the uh, etude of egress, which I love that name, makes etude. people- Etude. 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 Egress, it, it makes people leave if they're not uh, living at your house. Um, and the song of sophistication okay, it's already uh, makes working. everyone around you um, change into their formal wear. Have you ever thought of Have you ever thought of using the term or the phrase "etude brute"? No, um, it would only come up if someone stabbed me on the Ides of March, and luckily that hasn't happened. <laughs> or was playing a song about the Ides of March? Because I said "etude," not "etude." I see. I see. So they're okay. all. But again, it needs to reference. Oh, see. They're exhausted in 16 minutes because we've tanked both of their energy. Right. So, so this is not going to be Yes. Um, let's uh, let's uh, get this and put it in her inventory so she can go elsewhere and mess with other people. <laughs> let's go here. And those two are going to... I think we have autonomy off for everyone, which is why yeah. nobody's moving around. Right. That so no explains it. I normally play with autonomy on. Right. So, so like, makes, oh. they want to take a nap, but they can't. Um, yeah, which means they'll you, pass out there. That means you should there. play the song Sophistication instead. For this guy? Yeah, give it a go. Let's see if it works. Song of Sophistication, he should change into his, um... Oh, uh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> I don't know if Lindsay said the formal wear and all these people. Ah. But notice, these two guys change. Yeah, they are, they are, Everybody's changing into nice. formal wear because of the Song of Sophistication, uh, which is really quite amusing. So, the Piper is a great way to manipulate people. Um, change their emotions, change their behavior. So, you could do that already, as we've seen through music, mm -hmm. through mischief. Yep. 
Um, you can do mixology where you can make the potions and stuff like that. There's a lot of really cool ways you can control the game and tell your story. But we're done with this for now. Let's go over here and let's talk about painting some. So painting is one of the best alternative ways to make money in the game. Yeah, you, painting can sell for a lot of money. You can go over here and sleep, bro. <laughs> so first off, you can frame a canvas. You can unframe it. You can name it Ryan Vaughn. Are we tired of that joke? John, what do you think? Um, I think you should just run it into the ground. That's what you tend Astari to do. Starry Vaughn by Vincent Van Vaughn. Um, you could sell it to a collector. So we could do this and we'll make some money off of it. Not you, sorry. You sleeping. She's going to sell it to the collector. I do not like controlling eight sims. It is quite confusing. So we made $129. Oh, she's got a P. Let's go P. Then we'll go back and paint some more. So you can craft a lot of uh, emotional paintings when you're in uh, certain emotions, which is great. They you can. can. Set up those emotional auras. What I like about the uh, painting aspiration is that when you complete that aspiration, you get the expressionistic trait. You know what? Um, which lets you paint uh, pictures um, as if you were in any emotion, but you don't actually need to be in that emotion. It just gives you access to all the emotional paintings of that. That's pretty incredible. Yeah. But, but for now, we have this focus potion from earlier that we never drank. It's true. Let's drink it, and we're going to make a focus painting. Look at you connecting the beginning of the stream to the end of the stream. We call that a callback. So you know what we call it. Well, you know, comedians. Yeah, so diagram. now we can do a mathematical diagram. In, in addition to all these other really cool paintings, you'd abstract paintings, classic paintings. But we're going to do a mathematical diagram. She's super focused. And she's going to come over here and paint it. She's got easy sipping, focus by potion. Gives her plus 100, which basically means she's at the highest tier of focus. So she's going to come here and do it. You know, she's sitting here sketching it. We were sort of inspired by a beautiful mind here where she's got the pen and the sort of uh, mathy type stuff. It's Speed three. And it focused by potion is probably the driest movement name that we've ever made. Should have made it something a little more interesting. <laughs> Whose fault is that? Mine. Is it? Yeah. Wow. Well, do you feel bad about it? I do. I try and be clever anytime I write text, and that time I think I, I dropped the ball. All right. So. Your ball dropping aside. We can put this here on the wall. So notice now we can uh, enable its emotional aura, which now means that it will convey focus right. to the area around it. You can yeah. also disable this if you don't want it. Right. You know, sometimes you really don't want the focus of Vaughn. Sometimes you really don't want to sort of flip flop between different emotions. Um, you can also frame it, put it back in your inventory, you can view it, and again, you can sell it. Um, which, let's go ahead and do that too. Sims are getting tired here. We uh, probably should turn on their emote. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on autonomy so they can sort of take care of stuff. I don't want this whole place to be filled with pee shortly. Pee and passed out Sims. I know, I, I think there's some Simmers who think that'd be hilarious. Um, what else do we have, uh, uh, John? That's, we've gone through all the Sims. Have we? We're going to. Yeah. Well, we haven't talked a bit about charisma skill or about go back oh. to rocket science. Let's talk about charisma a little quick. Um, oh, we should we should finish up on the uh, the rocket. Do we have time? I don't know. Oh, eight he's two minutes. Two. Eight minutes. Well, Rod's gonna pee, and it's gonna be great. He's using he's using the bathroom. Where are you, Rod? Once he's done with that, he can eat really quickly. How cool would it be if you could just walk up and just eat a fish right out of there? Nothing's stopping you if you follow your dreams. <laughs> <laughs> That's what my parents always said. Um, so Piper here, is anybody here a oh, writer? Oh, she named her Piper because she has the Piper trait? Yeah, That's another good one. Lindsay's, Lindsay's like eight for eight today. Who is charismatic? Do we check our notes? I, I think somebody is charismatic. Um, there's a sim named Chance who has a, a low-level charisma, it looks like. That's These good helpful notes that Lindsay gave us. She was actually supposed to be on this live stream, and then she had other obligations. Yeah, stuff stuff popped up. And so rest. here we are. And so here we are indeed. Um, we're having a good time. I think we are. Oh, he peed himself. He's very embarrassed. Let's go talk to others about it. Um, one thing about charisma that a lot of people might have missed on how to build it up is that when you initially start with charisma, you want to just be nice to them. Just do happy socials. But over time, if you see here this bright and day, it has these sunglasses here. That is a charisma social. Um, so like you got the nerd glasses indicating the uh, the geek trait, and then you got the sunglasses indicating the charisma. A lot of oh, iconography going on in the pie menu. Yeah, and we can complement outfit. That's also a, uh, a, a a a charismatic interaction. Oh, Rod, who is this? I don't even know anymore. There's so many Sims. This is Chance. That's Chance. 
fat chance. Um, how awesome would he, oh, Lindsay should have made him fat so yeah. he could say a fat chance. Well, otherwise he's just a slim chance. Oh, yeah, that's right. I see how you fix that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, and they're going to be talking from here. Let's go over here. <laughs> He's standing like right next to the tiki that's fueling fire. <laughs> that's great. Flame on! Hey, it doesn't quite hit his face, depending on certain angles. Let's go over there and sit chance. Compliment outfit. Ah, enthused about a new show. That's a nerd trait. Slightly different set of glasses. Yeah. They're taped in the middle. There we go. Iconic. So you can see here I'm going to be slowly building my charisma skill as I do these charisma socials. And one thing charisma lets you do is it basically helps you build friendships far faster. Right. Um, and romance, get, I believe, too. Romance, yes. And it gets out of sort of negative connotations and negative consequences very, very right. quickly. Like, apologies. We'll build that yes. All that stuff. Um, the other thing is um, what is the trait that gives you um, – that means that you don't decay relationships. Oh, yeah, that's, that's in the uh, popularity aspiration. Oh, um, it's popularity? Yeah, friend of the world. Um, and that is called, I forget what it's called, because we went through about eight different names for it. Um, friend of the world. Memorable? No. Uh, Beloved. Beloved, there we go. So That's what we settled on. If you level up the friend of the world aspiration, you will get the beloved reward trait, and what this does is it, or is it aspiration trait? No, it's reward trait. It's right. It's going to be changing those traits yeah. as well. I know. Um, what we do. It's, it's the reward trait, which we means that ourselves. you will never, uh, you will never decay your relationships. Right. Um, so, yeah. So, Vaughn, are there any questions from people? That's that what I was going to say. We got about five minutes late. We can do a and a If you guys want to jump on the Twitch <laughs> chat or start pinging Grant and I uh, or John on Twitter, we can use these last few minutes to answer any questions about uh, traits or aspirations, whatever you guys would like to know, or skills, exactly. So uh, chime in right now, let us know. You know, once you're able to build your rocket, we weren't able to get that far, but once you're able to build it, um, it'll let you go on adventures to space. Um, our sims here are all building it furiously. It'll let you go on adventures to space. I love that they can all help building the rocket. That is great. Yeah, it's a really good yeah, thing. I encourage you all to send your sims to space. I love the rocket adventures. They're so funny. They're Fun so little adventures that pop up, and you'll get all sorts of cool rewards that you can bring back. They want to know why Grant is so awesome. Uh, probably because I moved to California a long time ago, and it has infused me with heaps of awesome. I'm pro California. Next question. What do we got? We're still here, guys. Don't worry. This yeah, is my hand. Just leaning off camera. Leaning off camera to look at your Twitch stream. They want to see more cow plants. Oh, right? let's see what happened to the cow plant. Let's go. Let's go check it out. Cow plant. Uh, can we milk it? Can we can we be fed by it? Let's let's be fed by it. He's embarrassed. He should go talk to the cow plant about his bladder issues. See all these plants sparkling here? That means they can be evolved. Let's play with. Wanna get him eaten? She's like, what are you doing to my cow plant, man? Offer to feed me. If I knew everybody was wanting to see the cow plant, how cool would it be if you could just click specifically on the udders? Um, if I knew everybody was going to want to see specifically the cow plant, I would have uh, learned they all I want to see them. the cow plant eat the sin. I, I do, too. I, I do, too. He, he was dancing around it for a while, and then he just moved on. Well, he put the, the, the thing out, but I thought I should right, feed right, him first. The bait was there, and he didn't take it. I know. I'm an idiot. Come on. Give me. If we're on a dead build, we can have them do this automatically, but we're not on a dead build. I'm sorry. Yeah, we can actually do anything in the dead build. It's crazy. It's like being a magician. Speaking of pace back and forth. Are we, are we okay. on a dead build? No, we're on a live build. Right? We're on a live build. Yeah, yeah. 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 So I said, if, 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 if we want to build. see pools, but we just can't show them. Yeah, yeah I, I, if, if we had pools, you would see them right here. Uh, and it was pretty funny. I was uh, before we announced pools. I was working on a blog post where I was taking a bunch of screenshots, and I forgot that I was taking them all on the build that had pools. And I was like, "Oh, I'm gonna get fired!" Um, because we can't talk about stuff before we're allowed to talk about it. Because that's just how things are, unfortunately, for better or worse. All right, I, I think we got time for one more question. Anybody got a formative Q and A session? Right yes, yeah, very yeah. informative. We're always there to answer your questions on Twitter, though. So Bob was right. there too. At Simgrew Graham, at Simgrew Grant, 
at Simguru Ryan, at Simguru John, yeah, at Simguru Lindsay, Lindsay, at Simguru yes. Shannon. Yeah, yeah. Yes, and many more. And so many more. There's actually and ever more. We keep getting new ones. Everyone sees how cool it is to be a sim guru. We, we breed too. gurus. It's really a guru breeding program. You guys ever see gremlins? We get splashed with water and and we make more of ourselves. Okay, um, so here's a good here's a good question. What traits are good for the astronaut and spy careers wow. coming from Magical Girl Games? You know, why don't we just go look around in... You can pop into cat. Yeah. I last two minutes, so hurry up! Dun 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 I think it's Sims 2 Sims yeah, build Sims music, yeah. uh, which I, I've never been able to get out of my head. You know I don't what? remember... You know, that's Mark Mothersbrough, the uh, composer. He's the guy from Devo. Oh. He's awesome, and he wrote that soundtrack. That's my favorite Sims soundtrack. I, I can't, can't get it Sims out of my head. Sims 2 soundtrack is amazing. So we're talking about a rocket. So um, first off, uh, Genius. Focus is really good for handiness. Um, the rocket is sort of a derivative of handiness. Yeah, it'd be, um, uh, that's anything science related. Yeah, and so, good for and, and you know, you'll be doing things like the observatory for your story, the microscope. So genius is a really good starting point. Um, I would say that, and that'll give you the focused emotion over yeah. time. Um, you could also, uh, I would recommend picking a knowledge aspiration because that'll give you the quick learner trait that lets you build skills a bit faster, which will be useful for building a rocket science skill. So knowledge, so you'd say something like nerd brain or computer whiz yeah. or renaissance sim. Yeah, exactly. Probably not Renaissance Sim if you're trying to be a Rocky, because yeah, that one has you jump I, I around with nerd a lot. I believe that has a few Rocket-related objectives in it, actually. I believe it does. Yeah. Um, yeah. We can check once we get in-game. So we're, we were talking about... Uh, oh, no, 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 come on! Oh! oh yeah. Vaughn is our tech help. Get off the screen now. Uh, have you made an appearance on screen? You gotta just lean on. Yeah, I've shown my. I, face. I believe I've been half. Well, I, I think I've been half on the screen the entire time. Would you think a geek would work? Uh, I think sort of thematically, storytelling. Thematically, wise? definitely. Um, they mainly just want to talk about geek stuff, though. They enjoy collecting. Mm, coll well, collecting is good when you're in space. It's true. Actually, that's that's a great point. You get collectibles when Am you're I right? in space. Am I right? Yeah, and you'll get yeah. What about so? I would say like if you're sort of like weirdo. Not a weirdo. I don't want to imply weirdo because I, I play this a lot, but um, this is me. But like loner, like if you want to like stick to yourself. Right. Uh, but also if you're going to be outside building the rocket and upgrading the rocket a lot, you might also want uh, Loves the Outdoors. Yes. Which one do you think, John? I think Loves the Outdoors is a better choice there. All right. Um, let's, let's go find somebody. Well, she's cute. We're just out about of time. No, yeah, no. We're out about of time. time. We're not out about. about. Which one of these sims looks like? That looks like somebody. Schlumper. Schlumper? Pick the one with the German chat sounding name. Come on. Schlumper! <laughs> All the Schlumpers. Um, this guy kind of looks like Riker in a weird way. <laughs> I wonder if he gets on his chair backwards. Sits down backwards. We're going to pick this guy. Is er grafig in ist aktiv? Mehr each heft that. That could be our astronaut, but I, I kind of wanted a female astronaut, so let's just randomize for a while. Yes! Yes. <laughs> That's. Let's go to full body. And we're going to space. <laughs> Perfect. Space sausage. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in today. We're just running out of time. Uh, we hope you enjoyed the broadcast. We've got. Uh, if you have more questions, feel free to hit us up on Twitter. Uh, you guys know, or the forums. Yeah, we do. Uh, we do daily forum, uh, forum. Das Facebook. Yes, exactly. All kinds of good stuff. We're always uh, around. We're, we're we're answering questions. Yep. More than we're working sometimes, right, guys? Go yeah. Giants! We love hearing from you guys, and we'll see you again soon. Thanks for checking us out. Bye. Bye.